So in doing the testing of the bacteria, we found that there are, in root canals, today we're finding about uh, 53 different bacteria. Uh, what do they do? Well, these bacteria, there are 28 of them which are directly involved with the health or disease, non-health, of the heart that they are known from the scientific literature to create certain heart conditions. Some of them specialize in attacking the heart valve. The, you know, there are valves that open and close in the heart. Some of them have a predisposition to go there. Uh, many of them cause what's called endocarditis. Endo, inside, inside the heart, itis, inflammation. Inflammation of the vessels inside the heart. Well, that's not too handy because that kind of leads to other tragic events. And then some of them cause um, platelet aggregation. Can you spell that? No. <laughs> um, there are platelets that have to do with clotting factors in there. And they come together and they form little clots in there. Well, you get these little clots flo floating around in the brain and in the heart. And that creates a whole different problem. So all of these things are right out of the scientific literature. It's just that DNA becomes the messenger to tell you who's there and what it's doing. And that has opened up a whole new avenue of connection between dentistry and medicine. We've been doing this for several years, and I did a test uh, just a few days ago on the materials that were found in a root canal. <clears throat> and we sent the report to the dentist who had taken out the root canal tooth. She looked at it and, you know, these names are this long and I don't know who invented them, but it was somebody who had it in for <laughs> anybody else who tried to understand where they came from. So she looks down that list and the patient's in real bad shape, so she sent it to the physician. Well, the MD looks it over and he calls her and says, what should I do with all this? So, you know, each field is its own separate little mm -hmm. thing. It's time to kind of get together, bring the family together and make a team out of this. So then she called me and said, what do we do? Well, there are several things that we have been working with for the last two or three years that tame these bacteria. There are some things you can do that are bad. Uh, have you ever heard of somebody taking an antibiotic because they were sick and getting more sicker? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Why does that happen? Because there are two types of antibiotics. There is the bactericidal, like suicidal, homicidal, to kill, and there's the bacteriostatic. Well, the bactericidals, which most people use, if you're going to use an antibiotic, you don't really know who you're targeting use a broad spectrum antibiotic. When a broad spectrum antibiotic that's bactericidal comes on the scene, you know, I'm, I'm finding I'm having to change some of my lecture here every decade because have you ever heard of John Wayne? Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how many people say, who? Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you know, in John Wayne's day, I mean, he was a cowboy of a long time ago. Uh, he was known to just <laughs> and the bad guy falls over dead. Well, that's what's supposed to happen with these bacteria, with the bacteria sidal go in and hit the, the bacteria. They don't fall over dead. They explode. And you've Which got causes lots, more problems. lots of problems out there. Each one of these little things creates a reaction in the immune system. So the immune system has to go in and, man, instead of one bacteria, now I've got a hundred fragments I have to take care of. This overwhelms the immune system. So our conventional training in medical school, dental school, for six years of the same, goes right out the window if you're trying to help a patient. So we've tried to develop other technologies that are showing some, some promise. Um, give me a few more months and I can give you more than a promise. Um, 
as to how to bring some of these, quote, incurables under control. Well, a lot of the incurables can come under control by getting rid of the source. Well, what's the source? Many of the sources are from mercury.